There are many fears when it comes to choosing an airplane over a roadside. People believe that no help can reach you in the sky. What if the engine fails? What if the airplane gets struck by lightning? All of these fears are very natural, but you will be surprised to know that an airplane is safer than any other method of transportation. Flying in an airplane can give you the chills. Around 20 million people worldwide are afraid of flying. One of the most common reasons why people are afraid to board a plane is the possibility of a plane crash, which is a legitimate fear. After all, who would imagine dying and not being able to find their body? Absolutely no one. Another reason why people do not feel comfortable while opting for flying transportation is the immense turbulence caused during the flight. As Air France's captain Eric Adams explains, it is the unknown that scares us. In a car, we see bumps in the road. In a boat, we see waves in the sea. But in an airplane, we can't physically see the turbulence in the sky because air is invisible. In this video, we will discuss some facts and break some myths about airplane travel. People are afraid of planes primarily because planes crash. Let's look at some facts about this. The chance of you getting into a plane crash are much lower than your chances of getting into a car crash. In the United States, for example, the chance of dying in a transportation-related accident is 1 in 6,800. What is the likelihood of dying in a plane crash? 1 in every 13 million. That doesn't stop us from breaking out in cold sweats when boarding a plane but not before stepping into our car. Visibility plays a role in this. We don't hear about the 26,678 average annual fatalities among American drivers in the news. However, a single plane crash makes international news. Even if we look at the number of plane crashes, we can see that the majority of them occurred in private planes. So flying in commercial planes is even safer. Between 2000 and 2009, an average of 548 Americans died each year in aviation-related accidents, according to Journalist Resource, with private plane accidents accounting for 85% of those deaths. Turbulence is not dangerous. If you have traveled in an airplane, you must remember how you felt when you first experienced turbulence, right? We would love to hear your stories in the comments, so please share. The only way to get the fear of turbulence under control is to know the mechanics of how the mechanics of an airplane work. This helps passengers to understand that the sounds and movements of the flight are normal. Here's some good news for you all. While passengers are most concerned about turbulence, planes are now designed in such a way that turbulence cannot cause a plane crash. In fact, the majority of turbulence-related injuries are caused by unfastened seatbelts and falling luggage. That, that is why the simulator functions. We demonstrate the sounds and mechanisms of a flight under normal conditions, then how the flight crew deals with system failures. Says Captain Adams, knowing what to expect can help to alleviate anxiety. Trained crew. There is also no need to worry about the anxiety or phobias you are having because the airplane crew is well trained about this. They all know that anxiety is a very natural response to situations in which you have not seen the pilot and you are just trusting him with your life. Moreover, you feel turbulence bumps and the shake of the wheels lowering, but you can't see what's causing these sounds, so they're strange and frightening. But don't worry, the flight crew has got your back. The flight attendants who serve and protect you on board your flight are highly trained. Whether it's a junior or senior flight attendant, all junior flight attendants receive four to eight weeks of training at the airline's training center. They will learn about everything they need to know to keep you safe during this training period, including rigorous training in first aid, fire safety, evacuation procedures, and of course, customer service. Furthermore, the pilots on your plane are highly qualified to fly you to your destination. To become a first officer on even a low-cost airline, you must have Prior to flying commercially, you must complete 12 to 24 months of training, at least 250 hours of flight time, varies country by country, 6 to 12 months of line training with the airline, supervised by an additional pilot. That's three in the flight deck instead of the usual two. There are always two crew members flying on the flight deck. One is a captain with over 1,500 hours of experience flying. So, with these qualifications and experience, I guess it is okay to trust that unseen man with your life. Luggage can get lost. Although this is a rare occurrence, many people are concerned about what will happen if their luggage is misplaced. W wait for a second, who got lost? In air? Or dropped from the air through a hole? Is it even possible? No, so people fear that their luggage can be lost at the airport. Well, it is somewhat of a genuine reason, 
But still, the chances of this happening are very low. According to a report by the United States Department of Transportation, there is only a 1% chance that your luggage will get lost. That is only around 3 bags lost per 1000 bags. Still, if you fear traveling on a plane, then try to kill time on your flight by doing some interesting stuff. I personally like to play games. You can try that too, and don't forget to tell me if it helped or not. You can also try to focus on the reason why you are traveling. If you are traveling to meet a loved one, then think about the moment you are going to see them after getting off the plane. Tell us in the comments, are you one of those who are afraid of airplanes or enjoy traveling in a plane? Share your thoughts in the comments below.